Okay, let's talk about adding responsive classes in Gridlux. So Gridlux is a great tool because when it comes to responsive design, it's done all of the heavy lifting for us. They've already written media queries um, for all of the columns and all we have to do is apply a class to call in their styles. So this um, is the Gridlux website and like I said before, it's just a wealth of knowledge. It's all the documentation that you need to actually use Gridlux. Um, so here is where Gridlux explains their responsive columns um, in their media queries. So their extra small um, is a screen size with a max width of 700, sorry, 576 pixels. Um, their small is a max width of 768 pixels. Their medium is a max width of 1024 pixels and so on. Um, so all we have to do is add these um, responsive classes to our grid. So let's go and do that now. So we'll open up our code and we have our grids um, already in our HTML. And all we have to do, we can forget about the navigation because we'll be using um, JavaScript to actually write a responsive nav. So we'll just leave the navigation alone for now. Um, but all we have to do for everything else is add some responsive classes. So right now I have my titles taking up six columns and they're centered on my page. Um, when it goes to a smaller screen size, I probably want those titles to take up more than six columns because I don't want them to be too squished. So I'll just write a new style for that. So um, on a small screen, I think I want it to take up eight columns. And on an extra small screen, I want it to take up 10 columns. And I just save that, and it's as simple as that. So I can just add, keep going and adding um, my column, my responsive columns here. So same thing, probably eight on a small screen and probably 10 on an extra small screen. Um, when it comes to my skills section, um, where all of the columns are laid out in kind of rows of three, um, when that drops to a smaller screen, I want it to take up the entire width of the page. So I'm going to say underscore small dash 12. And I don't really need to add extra small dash 12 because they use max width for their media queries. So once it reaches that screen size um, that is declared for small, so once it reaches this max width of 768 pixels, anything under that, that small style will be applied to unless I define something for something different for um, this number here, which is the 576 pixels. So once I'm done putting all of my responsive columns in, I can just hit save and then I can start testing um, on responsive devices and using my developer tools um, to test to see how everything looks. Um, and anything that doesn't look great, I can actually just go and write media queries for. But this is definitely a huge help and it does uh, most of the heavy lifting. So the majority of the responsive styles that we're going to need are actually just being applied in this grid, which is great.